in laudem trium sophicorum igneum. Heat that produces many things must prepare their bodies and disclose what forms they wear. By fire, the sovereign element we thence, a vinegar derive, no friend to sense. Nor flattered of the palate, tis composed of earth and water amicably closed. Then it dissolves to water and the white sublimate sal harmoniac which unite into the earth's white and red and mercure to form the prior body does comply and triple vessel of philosophy the blood that fiery dragon qualifies and makes the mercurial vessel rise. And thence the female dragon does proceed, who to the male must afterwards receive, as nature in the orb does circulate by sending ordered by the laws of fate. The spermy doses to the earth which sink, and thence the sun does rising moisture drink, and leaves the multiplying sperm which does proceed on bodies, which is the way that's chosen by nature and her circulation shown. Three eagles do resemble it and show the compound vinegar's free medium thou, by which the blood and body strengthened are. The one central spirit does allow, the other does its vital life Bestowed, and both combine together to produce our second fire of philosophic use. Thence the third fire, the mountain's floody spell is freed, and this we artfully affirm. Unveiled, unbound, from earthly chains set free. This third, most sacred fire, the Sophi seal. Which, as of some, but others do it name. The lime green, well known in rolls of fame. with nature do combine. By this are clipped 
the swift Silenian wing. The body this to dissolution brings. two forms when they come near, far stronger than before they then appear, since in the triune fountain we behold, whate'er in mystic fable we are told, of that fierce fiery Colchian beast within whose bounds treasures hid do rest, who doth the Magi's calypse there conceal, which worthy is of wisdom to reveal. The elixir gives our second fire complete, the volatile is fixed by its heat. Nor of addition is here any need, besides it can produce a living seed. The living seed of metals here does lie, not dead, discovered by the artist's eye. This is that gore, that noble lunar oil, for which so many vainly rove and toil. This fire it is which made Pontanus wise, the fire which made Artephius so to rise. In years and all the living weights excel, for nothing can its mighty force repel. From sulphur is its birth, but make not haste, if you would not your time and labor waste. Since from the matter this you must not take, for it's a sulphur of another make. But when the blood and mercury you have found, and it by dexterous hidden art have bound, then nature learns sweetly to imitate, as she will teach you how to circulate. In her circulations your pattern see, always, and from this pattern never flee. This now to animate and fortify. Eagles, be sure, you must seven more let fly. By every flight the light begets a day, while darkness from the light makes haste away. In every one a separation's made, the vanquished darkness now can't make afraid. For see, behold the splendor that appears, see the bright nymph that here her head uprears. A living splendent fountain now doth run, with a transcendent brightness as the sun. Shining and streaming virtue all around, by which it penetrates whole nature's ground. This, as the Azoth tree our living spring, the body to perfection soon will bring. Here, Leton melted, open and calcined, by this mercurial fire is refined. Leton, our gold, here many times baptized, we do imbibe and wash till to its size, and standard true it do at last arrive, for which it will be worth our while to strive. Nor is there loss of any other part, but all remains not touched nor changed by art. For this immortal fiery liquor such as naught can ever change or ever touch. And with the matter cannot alter be, by it the matter altered we shall see. So as thereby to be transparent quite, 
and thus made almost of a radiant white, which to the nature of a spirit turns, while it in spirit unconsumed burns. The spirit with the body thus conjoined, we thence a most excelling creature find, in which a trine of principles doth lie, pure salt, pure sulphur, and pure mercury. These art can separate and then unite, that art of which the hidden so far right, but none besides, none but Dame Nature's art, this wondrous secret ever did impart. Within this mine two stones of old were found, whence this the ancients called holy ground, who knew their value, power, and extent, and nature how with nature to ferment. For these, if you ferment with natural gold or silver, their hid treasures they unfold. According to their natures then proceed, and take care properly each one to feed. Imbibe, multiply, and when you project, then shall be seen the wonderful effect, which may indeed the ignorant amaze. Not so the wise who will not vainly gaze, but falling prostrate down will God adore, and joyful offer up to him their store.